Well, tonight we are hearing from the company that operated the helicopter air ambulance that crashed during a flight in January. You might remember the pilot, the nurse, and a paramedic died in that survival flight crash. In documents published by the National Transportation Safety Board this week, several former employees are noted to have expressed concerns over survival flight's safety policy. They said in some cases they were pressured to fly to meet certain quotas. The NTSB states two other companies turned down that January flight because of weather concerns. But as we know, survival flight accepted that run. We uh, said we'd do it. And we said we'd do it because uh, nothing in the weather reports, nothing, uh, any, none of the safety factors that would say we don't go said that we shouldn't go. Like I said, one out of every four calls we get, we say no based purely on weather and safety. The fatal flight took off from its base at Mount Carmel Grove City. Mount Carmel contracts with survival flight. A spokesperson with the health system sent us a statement today reading, we are speaking with the air medical transportation company survival flight to understand the report that we recently became aware of from the National Transportation Safety Board. And to read that entire crash report released by the NTSB, you can head to our website, NBC4I.com.